As Chinese President Xi Jinping reached Russia to hold talks with Vladimir Putin, the Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida was in India holding bilateral talks with Prime Minister Modi. Even as China remains a common threat for both India and Japan, Prime Minister Kishida towed the G7 line to draw parallels between the Russian aggression in Ukraine and warning of the vulnerability of the Indo-Pacific, hinting at China's aggression in the region. The people who suffer the most from the erosion of the rule of law in the international community are vulnerable countries and people in vulnerable environments. These principles include respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity and opposition to unilateral changes to the status quo by force. These principles appointed to in the UN Charter should be adhered to in every corner of the world. On this occasion, I reiterate that Japan strongly condemns Russia's aggression against Ukraine. As the two discuss their presidency of G7 and G20, any possible convergence of stand on the Ukraine war remains glaringly unresolved, with not just Russia but even China taking a strident anti-West stand on the matter at the G20 platform. But convergence of thought in Indo-Pacific to counter China remains on track, this time with greater stress on the resilience of semiconductor supply chain. <laughs> और टेक्नोलॉजी सहयोग व्यापार स्वास्थ्य और डिजिटल साझेदारी पर विचारों का आदान प्रदान किया सेमीकंडक्टर और अन्य क्रिटिकल टेक्नोलॉजीज में विश्वस्त सप्लाई चेन्स के महत्व पर भी हमारे बीच सार्थक चर्चा हुई पिछले साल हमने अगले पांच वर्षों में भारत में 5 trillion yen, yani 3 lakh 20,000 crore rupiye ke Japani nivesh ka lakshat tai kiya tha. Yeh santosh ka vishay hai ki is dhisa mein achchi pragati hui hai. Prime Minister Kishida also pledged $75 billion for the Indo-Pacific through private investments and yen loans. After a day of heavy-duty discussions on security, defense and trade ties as well as regional geopolitics, it was downtime for both Prime Ministers and also to cherish the traditional cultural ties based on Buddhism with PM Kishida visiting the Bal Bodhi tree in the Buddha Jayanti Park in Delhi. In New Delhi, Mahasiddhiti for NDTV.